Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we'll be doing a scraped, uh, almost like a Gerard Richter type painting. Um, today's colors will be orange, blue, and white, um, and they will all be... Uh... Oh, it's all gloss enamel, sorry. So, as always, we'll begin by taping it down. This is watercolor paper. Um, I recommend using acrylic paper if possible, but I don't happen to have any. And I'm using masking tape to keep the painting down, which, again, I also don't recommend, uh, just because sometimes it sticks too much to the paper. However, I don't currently have any painter's tape, and I don't like wasting things, so here we are. So we're going to uh, get that one down. And I'll put the last piece across the bottom. It does not need to be straight because my paintings, when I sell them, I sell them matted and framed, so you don't see the edges anyway. So, not a big deal. All right, so we'll put that aside and we will crack open our paints. This is actually brand new paint. I just got it a couple days ago. I have not even opened the orange or the blue, so it's kind of cool. And I got paint all over my little can opener. We're going to pop that bad boy. Now, I've been thinking about doing a Pollock style painting, but a small one. Uh, if you want to see a Pollock style painting, even a small one on paper, let me know in the comment sections. Uh, because if I get enough people saying, yeah, that they want to see a Pollock style painting, even small, then I will do one. Uh, so, but for now, we'll focus on this painting. So let's give this a good stir. We've got to really get to mix the stuff for the bottom and the sides to kind of get in there. To really get it in there here. You can kind of see it mixing. And you can see how really runny this, this type of paint is, how liquidity, li liquidy it is how non-viscous it is uh, compared to, you know, regular acrylic or whatever. I don't know why I wiped it off when I was just going to put it back in there. All right, so now we'll go ahead and pop this bad boy off and mix that one and mix that one as well. I've been trying to paint at night more just because it's not so hot both for me and for the paint, so it doesn't dry as fast. And we are good. And we'll give these a good stir and get to painting. So I hope you're having a good day today. Uh, you know, or night, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you. Can't believe that the, uh, you know, the year is about two-thirds of the way over, almost. It's crazy how fast things change and kind of move on. And once again, you're watching this after I've reached my thousand subscribers. Um, and again, I want to say thank you just because I think at the beginning of the year I started at 300-something. And just to grow from, from that to 1,000 in a few months, it seemed like it took forever and it was impossible. But now I feel like we're kind of getting a little bit of traction. It may not last forever, and that's okay, but we're, we're moving in the right direction. And I, again, appreciate your support. I actually may be coming out with a Patreon. I don't know how much of the paint type stuff I will do. However, uh, I would include credits in my videos for anyone who was willing to donate for the Patreon at a certain level. But... I'll see about doing that later. All right, so we are good here. Got our paint paint uh, stirred, nice and nice and stirred in there. Just kind of scrape the sides real quick, make sure we got it. All right, so we've got our paint good to go. All right, so I'm thinking that we'll start with the darkest color, the blue. And then we'll work our way into orange and then white, and we'll see how it goes. 
So let's start with orange, or I mean, sorry, blue. I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and run this along the side and we're going to kind of crush that paint across the painting here. Now, it's kind of interesting because lately I've been doing a lot of acrylic type paintings and uh, to go back to gloss enamel, it's, it's really interesting because the gloss enamel is like a completely different type of paint, you know? It doesn't, uh, it doesn't function the same way. Like because it, it has almost no body to it, it doesn't uh, carry, I guess, as much as, as acrylic paint does. Um, you know, it's very fluid, so it just kind of, you know, moves. So I don't want to push this too hard and want the paper yet. So we're going to go ahead and leave it right there. What we're going to do is we're, we're probably going to go ahead and just layer this painting. Um, all right, so we're good there. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we're going to do some orange. And we're going to pull it downward this time. And we're going to do a decent amount of orange. I don't want enough orange that, you know, the, the painting turns all orange. I really just want to pull it straight through nice and slow. Yeah. All right, so it's starting to make those lines. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good, actually. It wasn't enough paint to really do anything. Bring that down one more time. Really get that paint out. And we're gonna pull it through. But just to make sure we got all the paint off, we'll go ahead and run it the other way. Okay. So we've got that. So now we'll go ahead and do the white. Actually, I'm thinking once the white's on there, it's probably gonna ruin it a little bit. Maybe not ruin it, but it, it's definitely gonna change it. So why don't we do this? Let's go over it the other way with the blue to kind of fill in any of the gaps. And then we'll go over it with the orange, top to bottom, and then we'll finish with the white. So we put down our trowel, and we slowly fold this paint. Essentially what we're trying to do here is get the whole painting covered, but we, we want these lines, we want this kind of distinction. And yeah, I guess I could have painted the background blue, and maybe I should have, knowing kind of how this would go. But sometimes I just get so eager to, to put the paint on the canvas and scrape it that I just don't. I know it's probably a bad habit. All right, so we've got a lot of blue here. I'm trying to push it to the edge of the canvas, or paper, sorry. All right, so since we've already got kind of this thing going on with the blue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just take advantage of that. So we've already got a ton of blue on here. It's already swallowed up a lot of the orange. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're really gonna apply some pressure and try to pull this blue out as much as possible. Okay. Gonna pull some of that off there. Okay, so we're getting some cool uh, looks here. We're gonna, but we're done with the blue now. I'm, I'm not going to apply any more blue. So we're going to go ahead and clean off our trowel here. Get rid of that, any of the excess blue. And now what we'll do is we'll probably go orange. Actually, we'll go orange down. Uh, I guess I could go up. Maybe we'll go up since we haven't gone that way. Oh, my glove ripped. So you can see my bare skin. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go upwards to kind of, since we haven't done that, and then we'll finish with white going back over to the side, and we'll see kind of where that gets us. We'll apply 
nice, slow, even pressure. It looks like it actually missed a bunch of it. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to put weight on the back of the trowel where my thumbs are. We're just going to slowly kind of push this orange through. We really want it to carry. So I'm really kind of pushing it through. Not giving it a lot of choice. Okay. Got that. And then we'll kind of we'll just go over the orange again here. Make sure that we can pull it through as much as possible. Okay. So we're good. So we've got movement there. And now, go ahead and wipe off the excess. And... Alright, so we've got a lot of the excess there, and now we'll finish with the white, and we're going to go ahead and put a fair amount on the edge here, because <coughs> that will be the final one. Alright, so we're going to do about half of the painting, and we're, we're really going to push, we're going to pull this through. We're going to put a lot of pressure on it, basically crushing this paint. And we're going to pull it through the entire painting. Okay. Ah, it's kind of a uh, Definitely not what I pictured. Maybe I used a little too much. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this bad boy. Pull it through. It's interesting. I think there's too much. There is too much white. So let's let's go over it and see what happens. If it blends, if it breaks it up. It's kind of breaking it up a little bit. Not liking it, to be honest. There's too much. It's too over overwhelming. So we're going to do the only thing I can do at this point and just try to blend these colors. So I'm just going to do some thin lines of color here. And go back here. And we're going to, we're just going to try to pull those colors through. And just see if we can get it to go back over. Okay. All right, that's a lot better. Can I pull these colors just a little bit further? Okay. So I like that a lot better. Um, I almost wonder if I should just kind of go down across it. But I'm pretty sure that that would ruin any semblance of color. And uh, it's beginning to muddy, so I'm going to lose those distinct colors. So I'm going to go ahead and call it good. Uh, we'll pop off the tape and we'll take a look. Crack the tape at the top. No. I gotta be careful when I pull this or it starts to rip kind of like that. We don't want it to get too crazy or out of hand. It's okay if it rips a little bit, kind of where the tape wasn't covering it anyway. I mean, where the if it rips about where the tape was, that's not a big deal. Again, when I sell them, they're framed or matted, so 
you you don't see those edges. And I even tell people like when I sell them on my website or like on Saatchi Art, I just say that the, the, the edges are unfinished. It looks like we got a bristle in there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Let me get my gloves off here. Take a look at what we've got. Okay, so here is the final product. So there it is. It's not too bad, okay? I've, I've had worse. Um, let me kind of get closer so you can see the different colors. We've got some oranges. You can see where it started to gray wash. Um, yeah, like right in here. Now you do see the individual colors, the orange, the blue, the uh, white. So it's not like you don't see any of those colors. But it did lose a lot of the distinct color on that. I guess I could have left it with the white as the final layer, but it was just too much, too much overpowering. Well, anyways, uh, not too bad. Uh, I guess if we're gonna rate it like a, out of 10, maybe a six or seven, not, not one of my better ones, but not the worst I've done either. So anyways, I will uh, hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Again, if you wanna see a small Pollock style painting, let me know and I just might make that happen. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.